all right all right all right welcome back guys how are you doing today um this is starting to become a regular thing for me i'm uploading every single day as you could tell and the reason being is because i found a good rhythm i film on my phone so and i'm gonna get an 11 pro apparently if you film on 11 pro it's like you can't even notice a difference between that and a professional camera but i have an eight a plus so I film on my phone, and then as soon as I'm done filming, this microphone is attached to my phone. And um, when I'm done filming, I edit the video on my phone. I make the thumbnails on my phone. I The titles, you know, the pictures, the editing software, everything is done on my phone. So it's so efficient. I film for about 15 minutes. It takes me about 20 minutes to edit. And then when I upload it, I don't really have to do anything. I just hit upload. So the whole process takes me like 30 minutes, which is great. That's why I'm filming every day because I get back from work and it takes me 30 minutes to film, edit, and upload the video. So I'm going to be doing this every day, ladies and gentlemen. Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. She got nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize and people are going crazy. People are going ballistic. Now, the only reason why I think it's a little bit too soon to nominate her for one is because other than the speech climate change hasn't really been solved yet and i think that that this nomination is based off of potential now hear me out she does have potential to be a nobel peace prize nominee she does and I stand by her 100%. I think she's a great child. I think she's a an amazing human being. I think what she's doing is better than like 99% of the adults out there. She has a good head on her shoulders and her parents did right. However, it's too soon for a Nobel Peace Prize nomination. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I think that we're basing this nomination off of potential and like, oh, wow, she's going to be a great person. Let's wait until she makes a genuine change and we see results in climate change. Uh, let's see how many people start to join her organization. Let's give it like four or five years to see um, what she can do in, in you know, the climate change department. And then we see if she's ready for a Nobel Peace Prize nomination. Um, with that being said, her speech to the UN, her speech... In general and her movement has obviously gained traction and i wish her the best of luck nothing against her but i do somewhat agree with the people who are opposed with this child being nominated for a nobel peace prize and that's my reasoning is that we're basing it off potential we're not really basing it off of what she has done um and most nobel peace prizes are done after the fact so somebody already does something to change the world, and then we give them a Nobel Peace Prize. Um, they're not, you know, d in the process of doing it, and then we give them a Nobel Peace Prize, right? That's a little weird. Um, it's like, I'm going to change the world, and then I get nominated. Well, I have to change the world first, and then I get nominated. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, people are going to lash out on me in the comments. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. Today's episode isn't really that crazy. What we're going to talk about today is the do's and don'ts of college. So I went to the Pennsylvania State University. It took me four years to graduate. It's real simple. You know, August of 2015, I, I started college. August of 2019, I got out of college. You know, it. I don't want to say it was easy, but college is flexible. Okay. One thing I would say, the first step for getting into college is to uh to make sure you do decent in in high school and make sure you do decent on your SATs enough for you to get into a decent college right that's why you see how I repeated the word decent three times because you don't have to get into Harvard you don't have to get into UPenn just just get into one of the one of the like top 100 universities Penn State is like one of the top 50 schools in America it's like ranked number 4 in Pennsylvania when I got into Penn State, the uh, I live in Pennsylvania, and the number one thing that I did was I looked for an in-state school, and I think that's what you should do. Uh, Out-of-state costs are insane. You get less benefits, and um, 
financially doesn't support you as much if you're out of state. That's literally a question when you're filling out these papers. Are you in state and out of state? Because that makes a huge difference. If I went to Texas A&M for college, I'm paying like 30% extra for tuition and I'm getting a lot less benefits. So seriously, if you are, if you're in New York, aim for NYU, aim for Syracuse, aim for those schools. Please do not aim for you know, USC or Texas A&M, the out-of-state costs are ridiculous if you can't afford it. The third thing I have to state is the major. I had a bachelor's of, I got a bachelor's of science in healthcare administration. I just graduated, by the way. It's December. I graduated August 15th. So what is September, October, November? I graduated three to four months ago, barely four months. Um, so I'm fresh off, you know, I'm fresh out of college. And the biggest thing that I'd say is the major that you get. I would stick to STEM, a STEM field. Um, I would stick to a business and finance field. And um, those two things I think are the best majors that you can have, mainly because they give you high paying jobs and I understand, I understand where people come from when they say like, oh my God, you know, I, I can't believe that I have to work a corporate job from nine to five in a cubicle, but I worked a nine to five in a cubicle, uh, for an internship at a consulting company in Philadelphia this past summer. I did it for 16 weeks or excuse me. Well, yeah, 16 weeks. And I have to state that it wasn't that bad. Really. I was type, type, typing away. And now I'm filling out for jobs in New York City. And I have to say that I'm not really that mad at a corporate job. I'm really not, honestly. Um, so those are my f like four or five tips for university. The first tip would be to pick the right major. The second one would be stay in state. Okay. Third one would be do decent in high school. In my journey in high school, I just did good enough. So that way I can get into a, a good school. And then when I was in college, I picked my major wisely. Nobody's telling you to pick your major in a, in, a, in, a, in a year. I picked my major my junior year of college. So my freshman and sophomore year, I was just screwing around. I was taking general education courses trying to find my way. Then I got a business degree from Penn State because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So it, it may take you a little while, but just make sure to pick a proper major. I mean, we all know the majors that are, are not... Um, you know, efficient. I, I don't really have to say them. I think we know. And, uh, you know, I don't even want to say bachelors of arts because there are people that get bachelor of arts degrees and then end up going to law school. There are people that go get bachelors of arts degrees and they end up going to business school. But, you know, there are a lot of majors in the art category that um, may not be beneficial if you want to make a lot of money after college. And uh, money means everything. Money does mean everything, especially since you're paying for college, like a lot of money. College costs a lot. So why would you want to major in something that may potentially never give you a job? <clears throat> Pepsi break, boys. But anyway, those are my tips for college. Take it easy. Take it slow. You don't have to graduate in four years. Um, you don't have to kill yourself. If it takes you six years, then it takes you six years. I am 22. I graduated when I was 22 and I started college when I was 18. And I could tell you right now that if you told me I was going to graduate at 23, I, I probably would have been much healthier mentally. <laughs> but um, all right, guys, that's that's about it today. Uh, I talked about grade 10, talked about Gortan, Greta Thunberg, and we talked about um the do's and don'ts of college. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Put the Twitter handle already in the beginning of the episode and enjoy your day, guys. Peace out. <laughs>